What's going on everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day and this is gonna be the starting point of my bulk this episode. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my physique. I'm gonna test my one rep maxes in multiple exercises. Well, at least the squat and the bench. And I'll be talking about how I'm gonna be programming my bulk to gain muscle. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. And one more thing before we go to my training session. Uh, yesterday I got this new lever belt, which uh, arrived luckily before my new one rep max squat attempt. Uh, I wasn't going to buy this, but it's a much cheaper one than the other options out there, and it was a sale on it, so it was even cheaper, so that's why I bought it uh, last week. It feels pretty solid and comfortable, so I can't wait to try that out in today's training session. But this is just a week before the bulk, so in the next week that's when I'm going to be starting my bulk. So today is not going to be a crazy workout, it's just going to be attempting my one rep maxes. And I'm going to talk over that, explain my training, explain how I'm going to diet towards gaining muscle and also strength. So let's get into it. So what you're about to see right now is going to be the starting point of my bulk, so here you go. So I'm actually recording the audio for this clip a couple of days later because I've just been busy but anyways uh, a lot of you might wonder what my weight is and it's actually much less than you think it's only 61 kilos or 61.5 which is roughly 135 pounds um, yeah that's not a lot at all I know I'm not huge or anything but I still look like I weigh more well two reasons for that is that my height is around 173 centimeters which in American height is about five foot eight I think yeah and the other reason is simply because when I started training I won't go into the details in this video I might do it in another video but when I started training I weighed like 36 kilos at my least which is uh, roughly about 70 75 pounds uh, yeah I had anorexia so I was so skinny and then I started training and a lot of shit happened in between there I broke my ankle and there's been a lot of setbacks but hopefully I'm gonna be staying in this bulk for a while I've been doing everything right so far so everything's probably gonna go great so the main reason I'm showing you guys my physique now is so that we can look back on it after my bulk and see if uh, well obviously I might not look much bigger because the muscles will look more softer because I gained more fat. But I'm gonna do a lean bulk so I won't gain a lot of fat just some. She, I just realized that I recorded on the wrong mic so the audio you just heard was probably a, a little bit shit but whatever. Uh, as you can see here this is my legs. Uh, to be honest I've been squatting for forever probably like... Uh, three or four years the main reason is probably because of my ankle it never got healed so that's been a huge setback plus my mobility I had pretty shit mobility before I've worked a lot on it and it's at least decent now so I hope you enjoyed my huge legs which will hopefully get bigger through this bulk or I guarantee they will this is a solid program but anyways let's get back to the training so here I'm warming up for the squat I took a few weeks break from squat because I've been dealing with this lower back problem. I've just been using a soft tissue ball uh, every other day and it's helped a lot so it's almost recovered. And for the few weeks that I haven't been squatting I've also been focusing on my balance as well as my muscular imbalances. So I've been doing some light leg exercises such as the reverse lunge and the Bulgarian split squats. I highly recommend those exercises. They're great for building muscles as well, and I will include them in the program, but now I just use them to fix my imbalances and to work my foot coordination and stuff. So I probably would have went for a 225 on squats, but because I felt my lower back slightly, I only went for 95 kilos. Uh, yeah. slow rep but it was a pretty solid rep I could have might have done more but I wouldn't have done any more than 225 and uh, it would probably have been worse for my back as well so I just stopped it at there and let's move on to the bench okay so I did probably like seven or eight warm-up sets just slowly increasing the weight and not doing a lot of reps that's especially what you want to be doing when you're going for a PR or at least the one rep max 
uh, yeah, uh, so I try 90 kilos. That went up a lot smoother than I thought. So, and then my next choice was to go up to 100 kilos. Uh, I didn't get that. I almost got it, and I'm glad I had a spotter, but the spotter had to leave. So I probably would have went for 95 kilos, but because my spotter was gone, I only went for 92.5. which went up just as a squat, pretty slow but solid rep. And I did a couple of other exercises after the bench, but I only recorded the pull-ups. So here's me doing pull-ups with 15 kilos. I did three by eight, I think. I remember that I was gonna talk quickly about programming. So my program now will be a full body three times a week. The way that I'm periodizing the program is that I'm gonna, about every two or three weeks, I will change up almost every exercise, not the foundational ones for my powerlifting style training, such as a normal squat, a normal bench, a normal deadlift, but everything else will change after two or three weeks. And I'm also increasing the volume through this uh, program so that if I potentially wouldn't gain any strength at all, I would still gain muscle because I increased the volume and volume is one of the main drivers of hypertrophy. I've worked on my program a lot and I'm probably gonna give it out soon. I just gotta do some finishing touches, but let's get back to the vlog. Okay, so I just talked slightly about my training, but what about my calories? Well, I'm actually going to do a lean bulk, which means I have to eat in a calorie surplus. I think I will eat in about, uh, at least in the beginning, a 300 calorie surplus. And uh, throughout the weeks when I get heavier, I'll bump the calories up weekly, about uh, 50 calories each week. So I'll probably start in the 300 calorie surplus range and I'll end in the 500 calorie surplus range. Yeah, so uh, this is basically the whole video. N nothing crazy in this video. I just wanted to show my starting point for this bulk because I'm really excited for it and I think I'm gonna make some great gains, especially on my legs and squats. Mainly because I feel like now I can squat properly again, so that's fucking great. I can't wait to eat extra calories. I can't wait to gain strength. I'm just so excited for this bulk. My program is gonna be solid as well. So I'll see you in the next one when we started the bulk. And uh, please subscribe to me and like the video and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>